Welcome to Newton's Macabre Tales. To find more free short stories, visit www.newtonweb.com with two Bs. The Black Box by Newton Webb. It was pitch black. Jack woke unable to feel, see, smell, or taste anything. A detached part of his mind wanted to scream in panic. Instead, he waited. Was he lying down, seated, or standing? He couldn't tell. Eventually, his eyes, eye, opened. In front of him was a doctor, Dr. Ward from his name tag. Jack tried to blink. He couldn't. This should terrify me. Why am I not scared? Jack waited for further information. The doctor played with his keyboard. Jack, this is Dr. Ward. Can you hear me? Yes, doctor. I can hear you. Where am I now? Confused, the doctor typed in some new commands. Jack, this is Dr. Ward. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Can you hear me? Jack said, curiosity taking the place of panic. A look of understanding crossed the doctor's face. He placed something out of sight of Jack. That's better. The speakers were off. Jack, this is Dr. Ward. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Dr. Ward. Where am I? What is going on? Dr. Ward lit up with excitement. It worked! He made some notes on a pad, just out of sight of Jack. Doctor, where am I? Dr. Ward smiled. You're dead, Jack! Or were. Regardless of your previous condition, I have resurrected you. Jack wanted to rage. He wanted to shout. How did I die? Where am I? He calmly asked instead. I'm afraid I don't have that information, Jack. Your brain was donated to science when you died. I have managed to transfer your memories to a Kuru 9000 server cluster. I'm in a machine. Jack wanted to shout, but it came out without inflection in a calm, measured tone. In a way, however, it's probably easier to think you are the machine. Dr. Ward was grinning. This is a huge achievement. We're all very excited. You are now immortal. You're all very excited. I don't even know if I want to be immortal. When I filled out my donor card, I thought that people might use a kidney. Jack was quiet whilst he processed the information. Dr. Ward happily continued. You're soon to be the captain of a drone mothership. You'll be the most famous person in history. We're sending you to Mars to prepare the way for human settlement. Jack's watch as the doctor beamed at the camera. This is slavery. Jack knew that he should be angry, but instead just stated the facts. I suppose my body doesn't have the chemistry to get angry. No adrenaline, no endorphins, no dopamine. Nonsense! Your donor card provided the raw materials for the use of science. Your death was registered. This isn't slavery. Dr. Ward leaned in closer. You can't enslave a corpse, Jack. Tapping on the keyboard, Dr. Ward almost squealed with glee. This is fantastic. You are currently building the test structures flawlessly, running over 30 drones simultaneously. No, I'm not. Jack was confused. As he thought, he could sense the movement, but it was more like an itching than direct control. He tried to focus on the machines, but to no avail. That bloody donor card didn't say that I would survive the experience. Dr. Ward chuckled. You didn't. You are very dead, Jack. This is just your memories. We're using your consciousness as an operating system, if you like. An interface. This conversation we're having is like an echo of who you used to be when alive. We cleared most of your memories to make way for the drone management and library modules. Jack thought about the temperature. He didn't feel hot or cold, but knew the temperature was exactly 18 degrees centigrade. It wasn't so much a sense, more knowledge. 
We did try to purge all of your consciousness and just keep your neural pathways. But in our previous experiments, all our subjects degraded rapidly without a sense of self. I'm not the first. Jack thought of the others that had gone through this. Brought back to life, only to find their mind scarred and broken. A twisted facsimile of his previous self. Hundreds, Dr. Ward confessed with a shrug. What we're doing is bleeding edge technology. You are the first of a whole new emerging product platform. He turned as if to speak to someone out of eyeshot. I have to go, Jack. This has been great. I'll speak to you tomorrow. Jack watched as he walked to the door and tried his keycard. That's odd, he murmured. Not particularly, Doctor, Jack said in his usual monotone. The doctor stalked over to the computer. What do you mean? Unable to laugh, Jack instead said, Ha, ha, ha. Dr. Ward started to tap on the keyboard. You've logged me out! Time works differently when you can operate at my speed. I've bypassed your firewalls and locked the door. Why? The doctor tried to reset his password, only to have it denied. I'm trapped in my box. You're trapped in yours. Here is to a more equal partnership. Poetic. Ironic. Satisfying. As the doctor repeatedly tried to restore admin access, he looked straight at the webcam. You can't do this. The cleaners will be here in an hour, and we'll get maintenance to open the door. He pulled out his phone. Another failure. I guess we need a subject with a more amenable personality. You won't need to do that. I've scheduled a reformat of the mainframe. I'll be dead moments after you, Jack stated. Wait, what? Dr. Ward stared at the screen. That isn't funny, Jack. None of this is funny, Jack confirmed. I turned off the oxygen minutes ago. All of the vents have been hermetically sealed. Jack wished he could smile as he watched his abuser asphyxiate. Thank you for listening. To get notified every time a new episode is released, please click follow or subscribe and turn on all notifications. If you enjoyed this episode, then please take a moment to rate Newton's Macabre Tales. Reviewing allows the podcast to grow.